contention that they're going to win the delegates or Bernie's contention that they're going to win the vote vote. What's happening everybody? Good morning and hello from the future. I say that because it is 6.30 and I've already been to the gym. I usually record these intro videos before the gym, but I was rushing out today. So I had to hurry to the gym, get the workout done, record it afterwards. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to day number 31. That's right. We're past the 30 day mark. I think we're going to hit a whole new gear on this progression of this 12 week trainer. So today is all about chest. Chest day, best day, like I said last night. We're going to start off with a superset of incline dumbbell fly and decline dumbbell press. 10 to 15 on the dumbbell fly, just 10 on the dumbbell press. Right after that, we're going to do another superset, almost the same, but it's decline dumbbell fly and then incline press, just straight three sets of 10 superset. After that, we move on to the cable crossover machines. So we're going to get two cables. We're actually going to kneel, and we're going to work that mid-chest by doing a cable crossover bent over and kneeling. The rep range is going to be 20, another set of 20, and then a final set of 10. We're going to finish off with a finisher move. It's supposed to be partner-assisted push-ups with a band. Now, if you watch the video, and, and you'll see in a little bit what I do personally, uh, ultimately, if you have a gym partner, they'll get a band, they'll put it around your chest, and they'll hold it so as you're doing push-ups, you can go to failure and pass failure because they'll assist you. Because I didn't have a gym partner today, I hung a band up at the gym, and I basically put it around my chest and laid into it, thereby assisting me. Now, it was easier to start off. As I got more fatigued, it became harder, but I still had a little more assistance from that band, and it worked. So burned out the chest, the last bits of the muscle fibers there. Then cardio like always. 25 minutes of steady state with 10 additional rounds of hit. 60 seconds all out, 60 seconds of recovery. And that's it for the workout. Today should be a less busy work day. Not as many calls, but my calendar is still very full. Got to get all the meals in. I actually have to cook rice. I may have to cook chicken. I'm not sure how much is left, but I have to get those all together, get ready, and get into the office in a couple hours. So get ready for the workout. Get excited. It's chest day. It's going to be awesome, and we're going to go do it right now.
headed into the office for another busy day. Not as busy as yesterday, I don't think, but still. <sighs> Calendar's completely full. Nonsense. Got all of our meals packed up. We got cardio to do. If it is, if it's rainy like it is right now, it's a little rainy out. I'm gonna have to go back inside onto the treadmill for cardio. No more air dine, at least not for today. That's fine. It's good to mix it up. Mix it up as much as possible. Keep it interesting. Let's go to work. Just got to the office. Time to go in and start the day. Let's go. Yeah. Time for coffee run. Let's go. Let's do it. Where are you at, George? There he is. All right, I'm here. He's here. I'm here. Going off for a coffee run. Getting away from our desk for a bit. Making things happen. Got to come out refreshed for the afternoon. That's right. Only two calls in the afternoon, but we had like four back to back in the mornings. Uh, either four or five. It was a lot. Too many. And we had a lot of grumpies that we got greeted to when we came in this morning, but we're doing okay. Hope everybody else is having a great day. Oh, yeah. What's up? Update, coffee time, noon time. It's probably around 12, 12.30 ish. Starbucks this time, because we ran out of Rook money. So it's the Vienna blend, just dark roast, almond milk, three stevia. Another rough one. It seems to be, a, there's a trend going on. It's a lot of rough days in a row. Lots of work, staying busy, calls all day, all afternoon. We were just talking about how, I guess, lucky slash you know fortunate we were to be in an industry that has such high demand being in technology dealing with the new and upcoming something that's really just constantly evolving and never getting old that's that's ultimately where you want to be at least if you want to have some sense of job security I guess um, whether or not how happy you are doing that thing is, is a different story but um, you make it you make it what it is and uh, you try and find a way to do what you love to do within that career or do that career allows you the time to do the things that you love to do. It's always a good um, company to work for that allows you to do the things that make you unique and allows you to make the most out of the parts of your personality that, that make you a top performer for them. You don't have to be the smartest, you don't have to be the most technical, you don't have to be the best person to talk on, on a phone with a customer, but if you can take all the good aspects of you and incorporate that into your everyday. That's what uh, organizations like this let you do. So I'm not going anywhere. I'm stuck. I'm just staying where it is and it's just basically going to see how much I can work my way up to um, make life a little bit easier. But you got to work hard to get there. Nobody's just going to hand it to you. So that's what we're doing. We're working hard. A little bit uh, of a longer update but some uh, a coffee update for the day. I got to start doing a title. It's gonna be like coffee talk with George or coffee update or coffee time or Java, Java juice, Java news, Java jolt. Either way, that's the update for today. See you guys at the next meal update. Meal time. What time is it? One o'clock. Right on time. Getting those meals in, right? We know it. Almost missed it, but I remembered at the last minute. It's meal time. It's four four twenty. Didn't miss it. Meal time. Chicken and rice and peas. Meal time. Leaving the office. Leaving the office now. Still a hard day. Still a long day, but ending on a better note because I'm getting more excited about some of the work that George and I are going to do together on those videos that I'm creating for the company. His, uh, his ideas, his creative ideas and his enthusiasm are getting me really excited to do it. And like everything else in life, like having a gym buddy, a gym partner, somebody that you work out with, somebody to bounce ideas off of, somebody to like kind of go through like the annoying, terrible parts of life. It's so much easier when you have somebody uh, to do it with. So it's gonna help me do exactly that. It's gonna help me get this project done and it's gonna be fun at the same time.
just got into the car, heading home right now. Have to do cardio, have to eat, and try and maybe clean up the house a little bit. But working from home tomorrow because I got a half day. Working from home on Friday, I'll have more time to get more stuff done. Let's drive. <laughs> Just walked in the door, and what do we got? The curtains came. Let's take a look. Amazon packaging. Ooh. Very nondescript. Basically, it's two curtain panels, 52 inches by 84 inches, grommeted, and they're supposed to be sound dampening because they're triple insulated. They're supposed to be thermal insulated, meaning heat's not gonna get out or come in, and it's supposed to be light blocking because, once again, triple insulated. So, we're gonna hang these upstairs on the windows of the office. We'll see if we can keep the light and the sound. Well, sound, I don't want it to bounce around, so hopefully that helps. Not gonna help too much, but keep the light out for filming up there. Awesome. All right, up in the office, I don't have, I don't have curtain rods yet, but these are grommeted. Nothing's gonna hurt it if I just temporarily put them up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some screws. So these are wood screws. I'm gonna put the screws into holes that existed from previous curtain rods. This is where the curtains are gonna go anyway when I hang up the actual curtain rods. I'm gonna put that up just so I can hang it for now, see what it looks like. If it looks good, I'm just gonna rip these blinds off. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, it's not super pretty, but you get the idea. Curtains will go there. When I have the rod, it can like spread out a little bit more, but maybe, I don't know if it helps the sound at all, but I mean, it's good for now until I get an actual, get some curtain rods up. Yeah, I'm gonna rip the blinds off right now. So I'm gonna do that. All right, that's what they look like for now. It's not pretty, but they're up and it'll block the light out. What do you think the color looks like? I mean, gray, gray looks okay. It was the cheapest color that existed. Kind of matches my painting over here, sort of, but that's good. The, ne the next thing is having to do with this window because that doesn't help anybody. <laughs> this needs a curtain of its own, a single panel with, uh, I could probably use one of the brown rods that I brought up. All right, makes sense. All right. I think it's about time for cardio. 40 minutes of cardio, 25 minutes of steady state with 15 rounds of hit, 60 on, 60 recover. Cool? Let's go. <music> 40 minutes of cardio done. Just like that. I think it's actually easier on the treadmill because I can watch my videos. It's not cold outside because I was inside and running way better than biking for cardio. You get more of your body into it rather than having to just focus on your legs. I mean, with the air down, you move your arms, but that's no fun. I have to eat dinner. I have to edit because I haven't touched the edit at all. How the curtains look? Put in the comments below. What do you think those curtains look like? I got the uh, idea from watching Brian Miller. He is like an audiophile, public speaker, magician, or whatever. I'll put a link to his uh, YouTubes below. But essentially, Amazon thermal light blocking, sound dampening curtains. Anyway, dinner and editing. Jordan's on our way home. So that's gonna wrap it up for day number 31. We had an awesome workout this morning. Changed things up a little bit, recording the intro after I did the workout. So let me know how you, you got, what you guys think about that. Then going through the entire work day and experience another really busy, rough day. It was great to kind of get philosophical with my buddy George and talk about what we do, why we do it, how we do it, and how we kind of think about our place uh, in the world. Came home, put up those curtains, did cardio, just had dinner, 
and then basically finished editing for the night. Thanks for watching. Smash that thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Tell your friends. You know, find another friend. They find another friend. Let them know. Comment below. Let me know what you think about uh, this video, about the different things that we we're talking about. If you have any feelings on your job or your career, or life, and you know how you justify what you do and how you do it. Do you love what you do, uh, or do you do what you love by working really hard to do that? Hit that notification bell if you haven't already, uh, so you know when my videos come out. But they come out every single day. This is the Bill Drisco YouTube channel. This is the daily vlog for the 12 week caged muscle lean muscle trainer. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's gonna be shoulders, possibly calves. Get some sleep and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.